Hey everyone, I'm back today with another capsule wardrobe question and answer video, so let's hop right in. Do you recommend getting clothing from a specific color palette, or is it not very important? I'm terrible at matching pieces. So a lot of questions about how to mix and match pieces, and so for today's video, I thought it would be useful to share some design principles that I use, whether or not I'm designing a postcard, or styling an interior, or styling myself for that matter. Um, because I think they're really useful and they're just kind of things you can have in the back of your mind when you're trying to figure out your wardrobe. The first design principle I'm going to talk about is color. So that means a color palette when it comes to your capsule wardrobe. And I would say out of all of these tips, this is the most important because if you have clothing that's from a bunch of different color palettes and you know, you have a bunch of things that don't really match together, you're not going to get those combinations that are really what having a capsule wardrobe is about. The reason I love my capsule, especially this one, I feel like I'm really getting into my groove about having a cohesive color palette is I can just really pull two things from my wardrobe and they work together because the colors work and other elements that I'll talk about in the video. So um, color palettes very important. For my capsule right now, most of it is black because honestly, I feel most creative when I'm wearing black. I don't know if that's just in my head, but anyway, so I have a lot of black and then my primary color other than black is blue. And then my secondary color is red. So a tip that I have to make sure that your color palette, that you're keeping with your color palette is take pictures of the items that you have in your wardrobe before you go out so you can just easily reference them when you're in a store. I do this a lot if I'm thrifting or whatever because sometimes you can get really excited about a piece but then you have to step back or I have to step back and be like, okay, am I really gonna wear this? I think I said this in another video too. Um, do I really, you know, do I have something that is similar to this already in my capsule? Am I really gonna wear it? you know, how many pieces will it go with? And having that visual reference on my phone of the pieces that I have makes that decision a lot easier. It may seem a little bit overkill to have pictures of everything that you own on your phone, but I already have pictures anyway because I make videos of all the clothing that I have, so it works well and it'll save you a lot of time in store. The next design element I'm going to talk about is scale. And when I say scale in this instance, I'm talking about the scale of the patterns that you have in your capsule. I like to have patterns in my capsule that are small, medium, and large scale. I don't always have all three, but I try to at least have two because I feel like mixing those together makes my outfits a lot more interesting. This outfit that I'm wearing today happens to be a great example of mixing different patterns. So. As you can see, this top is a small scale striped shirt, and then this vintage scarf is kind of more of a medium scale floral pattern. So they work well together because the patterns themselves are very different and the scales are different. So you're not feeling overwhelmed by either one of them because this one is smaller. It almost can read as a solid compared to the scarf, which is very much a pattern. Obviously with things like this, you don't have to follow these rules. Like if you really can rock something with crazy patterns or you know, patterns that are different, but you know, in the same scale, do that. You need to just do what you like to do. And as long as you're wearing it with confidence and you feel good in it, that's really all that matters. But these are kind of like the more traditional design rules that I'm sharing with you guys today. The next design element we're gonna talk about is shape. And in this instance, we're gonna talk about how the shapes of your clothing interact with each other. When I first started my capsule wardrobe over a year ago, I didn't think about this at all. So the result was I had a lot of bottoms that were lower rise mixed with tops that were made for high rise outfits. So I couldn't wear a lot of my pieces together. And because of that, I didn't have as much variety as I wanted. But now I feel like, especially in this capsule, I've really kind of gotten shape under control. So I found that I really like high rise jeans on me i feel like that shape just works for me i love that they're kind of classic looking and i feel like they flatter my body shape well so i have mostly actually have all high rise bottoms i have one pair of gray shorts that are like really relaxed and kind of low rise but the rest of my bottoms are high rise so i can really get kind of like the maximum amount of combinations for my clothing because all of my tops for the most part match with my bottoms and vice versa. So I would say definitely keep that in mind when you're thinking about your wardrobe, you know, try to figure out what shape works best for you. Also, it's important to keep in mind that shape can easily be manipulated. 
I have a lot of baggy tops like this one right here and I've really been loving tucking my kind of more casual tops into high-waisted denim. I feel like that elevates the look a lot more and I can easily, you know, change up the shape and the style of my outfit by just doing that simple thing. I also really love adding a belt. I have this vintage textured belt that actually brings me to my next design element, which is texture. So texture is great because, like I was saying before, it definitely easily adds interest to any outfit. I love wearing monochromatic looks, but I feel like those looks could potentially get kind of boring if I don't mix up the textures and the fabrics. So an example of this in my current wardrobe would be me wearing just simple denim with my vintage indigo poncho sort of thing that I made. I love the tone on tone look, but because the poncho has so much interesting texture, it really elevates the look. Also on a side note, I really kind of like looking forward to my ball capsule, want to find a pair of hopefully vintage high-rise cropped white pants. <laughs> so if any of you guys know or have seen anything like that secondhand or like vintage or like sustainably made, let me know in the comments because I'm having a hard time finding them. But I feel like those pants would look so cute with um, my white crochet top, for example, bringing in that texture to kind of make that outfit interesting with like a pair of strappy sandals. Oh, I would love that, so we'll see if that ends up happening in my fall capsule. But yeah, I would say texture is a really simple way to bring an interest to your capsule because even if you're wearing all of the same color, if you have different textures, you know, bringing in different knit pieces or maybe crocheted pieces or something that's beaded, it's going to bring interest just because it gives your eye something to move with. So those are all the design principles that I try to keep in the back of my head when I'm thinking about my capsule wardrobe. But keep in mind that rules, even rules like this, are really made to be broken. The reason that you would keep them in mind is to know how to break them in the right way, if that makes sense. So let me know in the comments if any of you guys put any of these rules or principles into practice in your own capsule wardrobe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!